And now, ladies and gentlemen, pretty boy, Floyd Mayweather. The hair is standing up in the back of my neck. This is the most exciting event that I've seen in a long, long time. Here we go. Doing a pretty good job, but he missed that shot. Floyd Mayweather is in for the toughest fight of his life. Backing up and under adversity, and here's De La Hoya on him again, and his fight plan is starting to work. He's backing him up, he caught him, he caught him with a shot. And it's it's a treat to have to see him do this. Now that time Austin threw a series of punches, and nothing really landed. Mayweather is so slick defensive, this kid impresses me so much. He is a terrific, terrific fighter for Mayweather. Oh, he really rocked Oscar coming in. Yeah, he did, he caught him with a good right hand. Well, Mayweather more than doubling Oscar De La Hoya in the power department, and here's a good example. Oh. That's a great shot. What? what a fight! How do you like it? How do you like it? Lining up the right hand now. There it goes! It caught him, but it didn't quite catch him. You see what's happening? He can't reach him when his legs are far apart. Oh, he's tired, too. That's, and that's a Mayweather round. A brilliant, brilliant fight. I'd like to see it again. Ricky Hatton decked out in blue with the fringe and the Union Jack in his trunk. In the gray trunks with the red trim, Floyd Mayweather. Here we go. Hatton drops the right shoulder when he's coming in. He can see the right hand of Hatton load up, and he catches him with the hook. Hatton is going to real big most underneath that right eye of his, and that's from the left hooks again. Hatton continues to want to put the pressure on Floyd. And the lightning hand speed of Mayweather is extraordinary. Hatton always has to start again when Mayweather gets his quick shot home. Left hook drops him, and then he hit his head off the turnbuckle. This is the beginning of the end. No, he won't let him off. Now he is all over. The fight is over. Floyd Mayweather has stopped Ricky Hatton in the 10th round to retain the WBC and Ring Magazine Welterweight Championship of the World. Here we go, schedule of 12. After 21 month layoff, Floyd Mayweather is back in action and they've turned up en masse here at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas to see him. Marquez hasn't been able to touch him yet. He makes a miss with two shots there. Look at this defense. Unbelievable. For you young boxing fans that are watching Floyd Mayweather, you've seen one of the one of the, if not the greatest defensive fighter of all time. I mean, that's how strong I feel about him. He's everywhere and then he's nowhere. You think you've got him? A little and dipsy you you throw the you throw the punch and he's not there. And again, it's not just hand quickness, it's the movement of the head. The, the way he rolls with punches. Look at the way he makes a miss. I mean, three, four shots. This is just extraordinary. We've been able to see Mayweather showcase so much. And this is a great exhibition of how to combine the best of offense and defense. Brilliant, brilliant victory for Floyd Mayweather Jr. Sensational performance. All right, this is what we came for. The hair is standing up on the back of my neck. And we're going to have a war here. Shane Mosley, Floyd Mayweather. Here we go. Look at that left hand being carried down low. Is Floyd able to get away with it? because he's so fast with his hands. First minute and a half again, it's uh, clear to see that Mayweather's outboxing Shane Mosley right now. And oh, Mayweather with the speed again, bangs him up against the ropes. This is gonna be frustrating for Shane Mosley right now. Oh, look at that. Pity pat punches by Shane, and Floyd cracks him with the right hand coming in. And then Mayweather from the outside can score and get there first. A big right hand landed by Floyd. There's no way Ortiz can box with him. No, I think Ortiz is going to come out and try to come straight at him and brawl. Here we go, round one. He is so instinctive. And there's the, the defense. defensive. And Mayweather sort of picking him apart. Look how quick he is when Ortiz comes after him. And there's Ortiz battling back. But look at the hands are of Mayweather. He lunges forward with his head. Time has been called, and now a point's going to come away. Oh, Mayweather makes him pay. What a rookie mistake there. A big mistake. Nine and ten. It's all over. All right.
six, so the stage is just about set. They clear the ring, and Dave, the anticipation of this height is absolutely enough. Nobody has pinpoint accuracy against the defensive tactics of Floyd Mayweather in the red trunks. He's standing straight up right now, and Carlos still can't get to him. Look at that. Overhand right. He wants to show this guy what a good fighter. There's no bad blood between these guys. That's a nice move there by right Mayweather. Hand again. Let him set the trap, and he does. We saw some things tonight that were as vintage Mayweather as anything we have ever seen from him. Whether you like him or you don't like him, you don't want to miss seeing him fight because he is a tremendous athlete. 36 years old, I don't see any slowdown. I certainly don't see any ring rust. Yeah, no no uh, change in the reflexes as he jabs and darts away from the counter. And then scores with the lead right hand. But I mean, the, the obvious difference in this is the hand speed, which is phenomenal from the 36-year-old fighter. I mean, look at that, he threw about five or six punches and uh, Mayweather just slips right out of that corner, kind of like a grease pig at a fair. Well, I don't think there's ever been anybody better we've seen that can shift from defense to offense and back so easily, effortlessly. A lot of what Floyd Mayweather does in there is instinctive. What he sees, what he picks up, and how he reacts off the nuances of his opponent and then gets there fast is what separates him from the other fighters, even the other elite fighters in this game. Floyd Mayweather has given a boxing lesson to Robert Guerrero. Here we go. Both of these guys are folks. Remember, in the early going, everybody thinks Saul Alvarez must pressure Floyd Mayweather, must try to roughhouse him. Let's see if he can catch up with him at all. He's won the first three rounds of this fight. Easily, he's won this. Not controversially, not close. He's outboxed this guy. It's almost like Mayweather's inviting him in to throw his own right hand. He's trying to suckle him in. And Floyd Mayweather, so far, has been boxing less than time for the young up-and-comer, undefeated two-time world champion, Saul Canelo Alvarez. There's just the subtle speed that Mayweather has that prevents him from getting there. Punches that he is used to landing against other opponents. Punches that have dropped other opponents. Punches that have stopped other opponents are coming up short or wide against Mayweather. Look at the amount of shots missing by uh, Canelo Alvarez. And one thing that makes Mayweather frustrating to fight, he'll land these right hands, but he will not engage in the slugfest. So you're still getting hit with sixes and sevens on a scale of one to ten. Consistent sixes and sevens, but he's not opening up so that you might land a big shot on him. He's so much under control. Look at the way he makes out. He's making him look like an amateur. Canelo comes in on him. Jab, jab, jab. Miss, miss, miss. Miss with the right hand. Here he is again. Miss, 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 miss. Oh, misses. He has to gamble. He's got to gamble, David. He's got to get inside. Even though he's lining it up, he has to throw the technique idea to the window and just lower his shoulders and go after Mayweather. Whatever he pays, so what? Folks, you are watching absolutely one of the greatest fighters in the history of boxing. Be pleased you spent your money to see this. Be pleased. This is history in the making. His hands are perfectly executing whatever he wants. From the brain to the end of his fist, Floyd Mayweather is in command. Five, four, three, two, one. Mayweather has defeated him, winning every round of this fight. For the undisputed WBC, WBA, and Ring Magazine Worldweight Championship of the World, Floyd Mayweather Jr. against Marcos Maidana. This is where Floyd fights his best when he's right in the center of the ring. When he goes back to the ropes, Maidana can pressure him and try to hold him in there. But this is where Floyd has had his best boxing out here. See the counter right up. Mayweather settles into the comfort zone. But Mayweather is getting his distance again. And there's some classic Mayweather coming out. The right hand lead again. Backing off. Not getting hit with the shot. And Floyd's playing very well right now. And he's found himself distance. He's gotten comfortable with the timing of Maidana. Able to clip him on the way in. Winner by majority decision. He is now the WBA and the WBC Walter Waite Unified Champion of the World, Floyd.